I'm Animal Trades, and this is my friend Greg Pennington. We are here at his shop. We got to see some incredible trees getting taken down. We brought them back here. We're gonna saw them up, and then we get some massive delayed gratification. In about three years, we'll get to use them. I get my hands dirty. They show me no mercy, so I just keep working. Like a, a big part about this whole lifestyle is basically it's a whole bunch of delayed gratification because those logs that, you know, the, the trees that we cut down, well, I mean, that we didn't cut down, the trees that we salvaged recently, like those mm -hmm. will be able to use that wood not for another like three years at, right. the, at the minimum. Yeah, but if you draw wood and keep it dry, it's good indefinitely. So, you know, we're talking about lumber we're cutting today that can be used for the next 30 or 40 years. and. It's, uh, think how many lives that'll affect probably. How many people will benefit from it, you know? But there's nothing better than logs. I mean, if you get your wood from Home Depot or Lowe's, it doesn't match, it's already dim dimensioned, so you don't have room to correct wood that's already bent or bowed or whatever. And uh, let's face it, I mean, it's just fun taking a log and turning it into boards. I mean, just moved to Tennessee, being close to someone like you to have some mentorship and things like that. Like it is just really, really fun to to be able to think about doing these things for the next, yeah. For like we're 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 making stuff, or we're we're, we're currently cutting the wood that's going to be, you know, used for the rest of well, your life, and then you'll die and leave it all to me. Yeah, but, sure. We have 27 inch wide sassafras. If you like sassafras. If you like sassafras. Yeah, those are some nice boards. White oak, I'm sorry, red oak, more sassafras. We got white oak and poplar, cherry. So you can see. Oh yeah. It's hard to see it because it's so yeah, yeah, dusty, yeah. but you can see the reflex in the true quarter saw yep. boards. The, the riffs on boards, Grain at a 45, they're not so pronounced, but they, good stuff. I mean, I'll probably use this for rockers, for chairs. Yep. So I'll cut a little strip out and have all that waste around it. And is it, is it the same out here where it's an inch per year? Yeah, yeah year per inch. And um, with the exception, when you get into 12 quarter, it takes about, you know, a lot longer because there's so sure. much moisture trapped inside. But. Sure. Pretty much everything that I've done so far, even with woodworking, like it started off as a relationship with my grandfather, and then, cool. you know, so much more now. Is I like chair making because I like a lot of people that do it. You know, like one of the reasons that I love woodworking or working with your hands in general is just the way that it brings people together. Like, yeah, I don't like to sit and have coffee with people. I like to do something productive and something right. lasting with people. And so good fellowship. you can have good conversation, you know, sitting here doing doing woodworking or whatever else. And so basically, I mean, I like working by myself and, and working hard and everything like that, but when it comes to the true enjoyment of the craft, really, it, for me, it's working alongside other people. So they 
thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and for supporting my channel in that way. Greg, thank you so much for sharing your time, talents, and toys with us. Always welcome here. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you leave this video feeling challenged, inspired, and excited to get outside and to do things with your own hands as well. Cheers. There's some catalpa. You ever see catalpa? Well, it looks like elm. No, it's catalpa. <laughs> everything, like... everything looks like elm. Yeah, if, if, it's, if you don't know what it is, it's elm. That's yeah. basically what I have learned. <laughs> oh, wait, you're already recording. Um, so incredible. Well, ah, just kidding. <laughs> what, what are you going to put in this, uh, this new barn you're building? Is it like just wood shop? You're going to have a 40 by 180 by 100 wood shop? I'm opening <laughs> the Animal Trades Winter Chair Making School. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a success. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Everyone start lining up.